Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to make this lion's mane bracelet. So let's get started. First, we're going to take a single rubber band and place it in one of the diagonal spots on either side. And so you're going to do that the same on the other side. And you're going to continue going down the loom. Okay, and once you get down to um, there, you're going to go diagonal. Okay, now you want to push them all down. And so we're going to make the main part of the line, the lion's bracelet. So. We're going to take two single, two single rubber bands and place them at the top. You're going to take two more and place them on, on the next peg. And keep placing them all the way around the loom. like this. Okay, and now I've put, I've dropped two rubber, two single rubber bands on all of the pegs. Now we're going to do part of the center. And so you're going to take whatever color you want in the center, just a single one, rubber band, and place it at the top. And keep going down until you get to the bottom. Once you've made it all the way down to the bottom like this, just like a line, we, we can start making the um, other part of the middle. And so take a single rubber band of whatever, you, whatever color you want and place it diagonal inside right there and then you can place another one diagonal to make it a full diagonal line there and so now if you want you can use a different color like I like to and place it down and then you're going to put another one down like you did with the other side except for the other way to make it an X. And so you're going to keep doing the same thing with single rubber bands all the way down to the bottom. And when you are doing this, you should skip that peg there like that.
Once you reach the bottom with X's and single rubber bands, you should have six X's all the way down. And so now we're going to be ready to put our capping rubber bands. And so take a single rubber band and loop it three, two times to make it three, to make three loops. Okay, now you're going to need your hook and go under the capping rubber band and grab that top one. It should be the middle color and hook it up. And hook up all the way up, hook all the way up the middle. Okay, and once you've reached the top of your loop, all of the, the pegs that you looped should look like teardrops. And some of them, them might be tight, so you might want to go under the peg and go around. And so we're going to hook the middle. And so just take the top rubber bands and bring it where it pulls. And take the next top rubber band and bring it where it pulls. And keep, and then here, keep bringing the top rubber bands to where it pulls. And then you're gonna do the same all the way, all the way down until, all the way down the axis. Okay, and once you've hooked all of the X's, it'll look weird, the hooking. And so now you can go back to the capping rubber band and go under, grab the top rubber band and hold down the capping rubber band and pull it to where it pulls. And do that with the other side, the same. And loop all the way up your loom up to here and when you're doing it you have to grab the bottom single And now I've done one side, I have to go back to do the other. Okay, now once you've done that, you're ready to do your slip knot rubber bands. And so, take a single rubber band, rubber band, and go under so you can see your hook. Put it on your hook. 
And I like to twist it back so it doesn't catch any of the other rubber bands. And pull it back through. And then make the slip knot. And pull the back one over. And now we're ready to take off our lion. Or a lion mane. <laughs> And right now it's going to look a little bit crazy. It looks really hairy. And so you're just going to pull back the hair, the mane of the lion. So and you can pull out the mane. Stretch it. And then we can take out the slip knot. If you want to add the extension, you can leave the rubber bands on your hook and take a single rubber band, put it on your hook, and slide those rubber bands onto that one. And then keep doing that until it's big enough for you. Or you can do it on the loom, it's the same thing. And I'm going to do a few in the loom, so you just put it wherever it's going to stop and go down. Like that. And put the other ones on. You should push those down, and then you can just take your hook and hook it, hook it. And then you take it off. I need to do it one more time for it to fit me, and I'm going to use my fingers for it. Okay, and now you need a C-clip, S-clip, or O-clip. And put it into these two, and put the two rubber bands into the clip. And then you're gonna, whichever side you like more, you can pull it back and get the capping rubber band from before. And put those rubber bands into the C clip, S clip, or And so then you can pull back the main some more. And there you go. There's your Rainbow Loon Lines main bracelet. Thanks for watching.